Hey there, it's Chris Fifo, your Darwin Prales product representative, and I'm excited today because my box of cuttings from Darwin, Columbia arrived, and today we're going to be propagating Nepeda Prelude Purple. This is our new intro, a companion to the Prelude Blue that was introduced this year. So as I unpackage my box here, I'll remove my winter uh, insulation here. I'll double check my temperature with my infrared thermometer to make sure I'm within spec. 52 degrees, that sounds good to me. If I'm up above 65, I might be a little bit concerned. Definitely if I'm down there within freezing range, I'm gonna be concerned as well, but my cutting should be in really good shape here. Let's see how they're packaged, nice and neat in here. And here is my Nepeda Prelude Purple. Nice and neatly organized within the box. One thing I wanna be aware of here is I don't see any condensation on the inside of the bag. That is a good sign, because any condensation on the inside of the bag that's being sucked out of the cuttings. And so that's a bad thing. The paper is inserted inside of these bags so we can ensure that we are absorbing any extra moisture. As I unpackage these, Nepeta are, are fairly pest free. You know, if these are really wet and shipping, we can have some issues. I don't need to be worried about thrips or spider mites or anything on that, like that on a Nepeta cutting. Uh, they don't really like to feed on these. And as I inspect these, I've got really good color. I've got really good foliage. I don't see any discoloration or any yellowing. And so I think these uh, cuttings are gonna be really nice and very easy to stick. Preparing to stick our Nepeda Purple Prelude, I've got my loose fill media here. I've got a fair amount of perlite in this media as well because I like the extra porosity in there. It's really going to help these things root out much stronger and much faster. Nepotos prefer your standard pH 5.5 to 6.0. We've got a couple different options for rooting hormones. We can use the hormonin, the traditional rooting powders, dipping each end in, shaking off the excess, and then sticking the cutting. But what I prefer for efficiency reasons is using the Hortus KIBA salts. These can be mixed up in a bucket and applied through an injector or through a uh, hand sprayer. And this way, you can stick all your cuttings at once, come in afterwards and apply your rooting hormone. Key to using these is make sure we use a high enough volume. Uh, four gallons per 100 square foot is what we found to have the best success. As I stick these, once again, I wanna be aware of any anomalies, any blackened leaves, any uh, premature budding that I may see in these cuttings. But normally, Nepotas aren't very picky as far as propagation goes. They're pretty much a weed as far as rooting in goes. I don't have to be excessively concerned about how deep I stick them. I just wanna make sure they're standing up straight, that's all. Here's our Nepeta Prelude Purples after two weeks in propagation. First thing I see here is I see some ununiform rooting. These ones that are purple, they're not rooting in as strongly as some others. I backtracked a little bit. So these were propagated two weeks ago into these LA plugs because we were really busy at the time and didn't have the time to really get the loose fill hand filled trays. And so that's why we used the LA plugs, but I did backtrack. And what I found out was that the growers were using core mode number three. This is a very strong parts per million of IBA, and it's not necessary on these. I only recommend using as much IBA as necessary because if we go too high, we can cause adverse effects. And I suspect that that is the issue. Normally, Nepetas root in very easily. And so with these, they're really gonna be a no brainer. Once they start rooting out, they don't require anything special, don't have really have any issues in propagation. One thing I wanna be aware of is really managing that growth. They can grow very soft, they can grow very weedy if we use a 2010-20 type fertilizer. So once again, a CalMag type fertilizer, nice toned growth. We can pinch these or even trim them off as often as we like. And so at least one before transplant, but if we have to hold these plugs for even longer, you can go ahead and trim them off again. All that's gonna happen is you're gonna have some immense branching in these. <laughs> 